Hi, welcome to my latest video. Tonight I'm going to do a quick video on battery parasitic drain. Okay, so that is the current that is drawn from the battery when the car is locked and switched off and parked up for the night. Okay, if that current is too high, then it's going to slowly discharge the battery overnight and it's going to make it very difficult to start in the morning. I've had a couple of mornings recently where the car has almost not started because the battery has been quite low. It's mid-February, the sun is going down, pit lane peanuts out here, he's going to help me do this and it's starting to get cold and the nights lately have been very frosty, it's been below zero. This morning when I got in my car it almost didn't start. And I've got one of those little battery monitor things, it's this little Sealy battery monitor thing and it has an app okay and it's showing 56 percent charge at the moment um 12.29 volts it's literally just going in and out of the red and 10 or 11 degrees okay so it's a useful little thing i did worry that that was actually drawing quite a lot of current okay because it, it's a sort of bluetooth device um bluetooth to the app the range is very very poor okay so i can't receive inside the house which is a shame but when i get in the car it, it does update and it gives me an alert if the the charge or the voltage or or anything else is wrong with the battery okay lately it has been um warning me that the battery was was nearly out of charge nearly fully discharged okay so if i go to this view here you can actually see a graph here if i go state of charge um yeah it was at 20 i think 17 percent this morning and then i went out for a drive okay and since then it's been dropping off the the, the charge was actually up to nearly 90 percent earlier on because the sun was shining on my solar panel i've got one of those little solar panels here okay here it is it's got a blue light on it it's showing that it's working but um i don't think you can see that with the reflection let's just open the boot and then have to excuse the junk in here there it is okay so a little solar panel there and that helps keep the battery topped up when the sun shines okay which doesn't happen very much at this time of year so if we go to the five day graph let's see if we can get that onto five day there you can see the charge is all over the place okay i'll put up a proper screenshot of this actually on on the screen but the charge is going up and down uh, there is a little gap there okay so i did disconnect it briefly because i was worried that it was actually drawing too much current i've measured the current it's it's milliamps okay it's it's very small it's about three milliamps i think it draws okay but we can see here currently with the car unlocked okay and the interior light is on and the dash cam will be on because that's running off the interior light we've got 1.3 amps so what i've done here is put my multimeter on the 20 amp current range okay and put um, the positive on the battery terminal just with a bit of bit of bit of gaffer tape um, over the top of it to insulate it and then the negative is on there so the current's coming out of the battery through the meter and then back in to the the, the clamp uh, on the other lead okay so on this range you've got to be really careful it's unfused okay so your multimeter might be different but my one's unfused 20 amps so you can't connect across the battery with it on the current range um, that's you, you can do that with it on the voltage range but on current it needs to be in series so we can see here we've got 0 0.69 0 0.7 amps okay and let's just lock that one what i'm going to do now all the doors are shut i'm just going to kind of lock the car okay so that's locking the car now my bonnet sensor is not in circuit okay i've disconnected that okay because the alarm kept going off and it allows me to lock the car with the bonnet open okay so if you try that your horn will probably beep when you try and lock the car okay so if yours is like that with the alarm uh, on the bonnet as well then you'll you'll need to sort of do something like this and put the meter kind of up up on the wiper and shut the shut the 
the, the bonnet down, okay? Otherwise, it's, it's just not going to lock. But mine is locked, and it's the current has actually gone down a bit, which is what you'd expect with the car locked, but it's still over half an amp. 0.53 amps, that is a lot. Now, I know that things kind of, certain circuits stay active for about 20 minutes. My dash cam is still on in there, okay? So that's on fuse 17 in the footwell fuse box, which stays active for about 20 minutes after you lock the car, which is really useful. You park up at the supermarket, the dash cam just keeps running for a bit. But of course that is using current. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna disconnect that, okay? And also turn off the interior light and anything else. So we've got 0.53. If I open the car, oh, that went up to 16 amps there as it did all the central locking. We've now dropped to, what have we got there? 2.45, okay. So out of interest, if I just put the headlights on, okay, we've got 6.8. So, so there's about four amps, but I am running LED bulbs, okay, which are uh, less current, okay, so brighter, but less electrical power. So what I'm going to do now, here's the new battery that I'm going to be fitting shortly, and I'll do that in a se separate video. So let's just disconnect that, and turn that off, okay. What about the other interior light? Let's turn, let's turn that one off as well, so that all the interior lights are off, okay. So now, when I lock the car, right, so we've got 1.5, let's lock the car. Okay, a bit of a peak there as it winds the mirrors in and locks the doors. And we've still got over one amp, okay. There's, there's no dash cam running no interior lights that's now dropped already to 0 0.6 0 0.64 0 0.47 it is coming down and what I would expect because certain things are still active as the car does shut down all its various circuits and I might have to wait a bit okay I might have to wait about 15 to 20 minutes that really should drop down to hopefully zero but it probably won't be totally zero it'll probably be a couple of milliamps or something okay so a couple of milliamps is fine 0.3 amps that's too much okay 370 milliamps that's too much really want it to be probably i would say about 10 milliamps or less even 50 milliamps is, you know, that's that's quite a lot for a car parked up doing nothing all night. Okay, so it'd be interesting to see what that comes down to. Now, my 20 amp range here, I've got to have it on that range because it spikes up to sort of 16 amps when I uh, unlock the car, okay? But there is a, a smaller range, but I, I don't really want to go on that range because if it does peak up, it will blow the fuse in the meter. Okay, so here we've got two, two decimal places, um, so we can see down to 0 0.01 amps, which is 10 milliamps, okay. So what I'm looking for is 0 0.01 or, or less. Um, I don't know if it'll show zero, if it's less than that, it might just still show 0 0.1, 0 0.01, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave the car like this for a bit okay I'm just going to check the time now okay so it's 10 to 5 I'm going to wait until about quarter past 5 okay and then see what that is showing because that is still showing 0.3 still showing 0.3 that is a lot okay and the car's not doing anything there shouldn't be anything on all right so that's if, if it stayed like that all night it's no wonder the battery's slowly char discharging itself down okay right i'll come back in 20 minutes 
and see if that has gone down any lower. Okay, so it's been about half an hour and it is still sitting at 0.3 amps. 300 milliamps, that's a lot. That is a lot for a parasitic drain. The car has been locked up for half an hour now. There's no dash cams running. There's no interior lights on. All of the accessories are on ignition only, apart from my amber strobes on the roof. These ones on the side, ones that are on the permanent, but they're not on. The solar panel in there is not doing anything at the moment. I'm wondering if maybe that is drawing some current somehow. It shouldn't be doing that. Um, it should have a diode or something in it, really, to, to make it sort of charge but not discharge the car. There's, there's nothing else. So I don't know what is drawing that current. That is a mystery that I'm going to have to solve on another day. Okay, so this video was really just showing you how to measure it, not a hunting expedition going around the car trying to find the cause. Okay, so I will do that as a separate task and I'll, I'll let you know in one of my vlogs what I find, if anything. I might just have to accept that that is what this model of car draws when it's parked. It's quite high. Um, I wasn't expecting that much current to be drawing. Right. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for tonight. It's getting very, very cold now. The sun's gone down. So I'm going to go in and warm up. I hope that video was useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.